In the newest Ravenfield update, we got an updated model for the transport helicopter, otherwise known as the Blackward. And aside from that, we also got some quality of life improvements for the new Spec Ops mode. First and foremost, the updated model for the transport helicopter. Uh, I don't know the polygon count for each model, but I do have some screenshots of the old one from a map I made, which, if you want to download it, I'll include a link for it in the description, as always. So, let's start with the good. I think the updated model is significantly better than the old. I mean, no surprises there. Since, you know, there's a lot more going on on the inside, there are actual windows, and it isn't just like a boring black color. Oh, and there's a seat for the co-pilot now! Although this did kind of mess up the balance on the map, since, you know, all the passenger seats would be filled, and now there would just be a, an extra seat there, assuming you were playing with 60 bots, but it, it makes sense, so I'll have to let it pass. So, the bat. The most obvious point is how it sticks out from other, every other vehicle. It just, it looks too good, and it doesn't really fit the polygonal style that the game kind of has. Uh, to combat this, they could update the rest of the vehicles. Uh, the Jeep and the machine gun Jeep are fine enough. Uh, oh, especially the attack helicopter, which, honestly, in my opinion, I think it really does need a makeover. If... This, assuming this is the graphical direction Steel Raven wants to take the game with. I mean, this is the same model that has been in use since it was first added to the game. Unless it was always in the game. I mean, I really don't know what to say about that. Ooh, also the attack boat in the rib could be updated as well. I mean... Yeah, if he were to do that, he could include an option, or he should include an option, to use the old models. Sort of like Half-Life with the uh, HD models, except don't change the weapon models and the sound. I mean, he already did it with the Boxman model, so what do you have to lose? Also, one thing that would be pretty cool is if you were sitting on the outside seats of, like, the transport helicopter or, like, the jeep or something. The transport jeep, I mean, not the machine gun one. You could use your weapons. Also, maybe if you hold tab, you could maybe show you, like, uh, some seats you could sit in so you wouldn't have to use the function keys. So... Since we've talked about the helicopter, let's talk about the additions to Spec Ops. Previously, squad orders were boiled, basically just boiled down to bots moving somewhere and getting in and out of vehicles. Ooh, also, defending slash attacking flags, which uh, I personally didn't use, but, uh, yeah. Now these actually have more use, because you can tell your squad to attack specific enemies, or let's say they're in a vehicle, they could just attack the vehicle instead. Now this is actually useful for Spec Ops, like mainly Spec Ops, you could use it in Skirmish if you want, but Spec Ops especially. At least one of your teammates will now always spawn with a uh, anti-tank weapon, or anti-armor, anti-vehicle weapon, basically a rocket launcher. So now you can destroy objective vehicles, even if you don't have an explosive weapon. Oh yeah, one really interesting addition was the inclusion of enemy squad formations. The ones added were Wedge, V, Line, File, Echelon, and Diamond. Oh, and how could I possibly forget the best addition to this game? Gordon Freeman would approve of this. But seriously though, one thing that really stood out to me was this one. Improved hero armor, so it also works on instances where you get hit by a ton of low damage projectiles at once. Shotguns, low damage, high rate of fire weapons. I've never seen hero armor in the game before, but I assume it would be like regular armor. Just there's not like a separate icon or numerical value for it next to your health, like, you know, most games. But this is probably the reason why you have to press deploy a bunch of times in order to kill yourself in Spec Ops. Deploy from the, uh, the loadout menu, I mean. So yeah, that's, uh, really all that I have, you know, written down for here. Uh, I am really looking forward to what Steel Raven does with Spec Ops, so definitely have to stay tuned for that. And since, you know, he did release this update, I guess I do have to come out of hiding now. But I don't know. I have another video I'm working on at the moment. Maybe I'll put that one out before I get this one out.
so yeah, keep that in mind. Uh, thanks, thanks you, thank you all for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.